Starblood Chapter One. Eliza, what are you doing? Ah, oh, Danielle, <laughs> I thought no one was home. <laughs> I'm just, uh, studying. <laughs> Honestly, Eliza, you're hopeless at lying. Yeah, <laughs> you've told me that a lot. <laughs> Come on, Mom wants us. It's time to head to the city square. It's already time? <laughs> yeah, now put on some shoes. Yeah, I'm coming. <coughs> Bye, Juliet. Now, stay close to me, girls. There's quite a crawl. Helisa, wait up! Oh, Daniel, control your sister! She's your daughter. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Hey, the buy shop! Get your butt back here! <laughs> hey, Mom. <sighs> Don't run off again. Ah, it's working. Splendid. Hello, everyone. Today, we will be choosing the teens from Leo, Aries, and Scorpio. For Leo, Ryan Griffith. <laughs> yes. Hmm. For Aries... Cleo Hazel. Finally. And last but not least, Scorpio is Eliza Bishop. What? Huh? Go to the stage. <laughs> right. These are your town's starlights. Uh, hey. Can't we say goodbye to our families? Sorry, dearie. No time. We are already late for your procedure. Procedure? Wanna run crying to mummy, do you? <laughs> Don't you know anything, Scorpio? When you're chosen for the training program, they code your DNA with animal DNA to help you become more powerful. Do you get to choose the animal? You take a test, kiddo. They choose the animal from your personality and choices. Mine's gonna be a tiger, I bet. Ha! <laughs> Yours will be a weasel, Leo. And what will yours be, huh? I'm hoping for a lion. Or a bear. Can't say that doesn't suit you. What about you, Scorpio? Oh, uh... Uh... I like cats. I guess maybe a leopard? Huh. Nice. Come on, sweets. The procedure, and then onto the ship to take us to the training ship. Ryan, you in there, Cleo, there, Eliza, over there in that last room. <sighs> right, here goes. Please take a seat in the center of the room. In front of you is a screen. Please answer the questions that show. Press start when you are ready. All right then, let's get this over with. You are trapped in a room behind a locked door. There is a crowbar, a hammer, and a heated knife. What would you use to exit the room? Hmm, I'm thinking the hammer. The house is on fire. Do you save the child, the disabled, or the elderly? Um, I, uh, the child. Calm or energized? Energized. The forest, the plains, or the urban world? The forest. Please exit the room through the red door on the left side. Red door. Right. Hello, honey. Just lay on the table here and we will give you the needle. Ah! Uh... January, what animal is it? A wildcat, sweetheart. Yours is a wildcat. Ryan has a dingo and Cleo has a lioness. <laughs> Typical. What's that, honey? Nothing. Come on now, let's head to the ship. Okay, well, you wanted adventure, Eliza, and you got it for sure. We were seated in a large room at the left side of the enormous ship. It had three long benches. On each sat the twelve teens. One was myself. Then, a tall, pale man walked into the room. 
He had black hair pulled to one side and black eyes. Alright, let's get this over with. Welcome aboard the UI Star Rider, where you'll be trained for the next year of your life. Or, however long you are set to train for. You will call me Commander or Sir. The needle you got just before you left to arrive here was filled with animal DNA. Over the next few days, you might begin to attain attributes from those animals. When I call your name, come up here and you'll be handed your ID and told your identification information. Understand? Good. Let's get started. Sam Alec, 15, Buffalo, ID 4179. Eliza Bishop, 15, Wildcat, ID 4180. Good luck, Bishop. Been a while since we've had a Wildcat. Faye Davies, 14. Your room's in there, sweetie. See you tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Man, I need a nap. Hey everyone, my name is Bern Aniceto and I voice Eliza Taylor Bishop. I'm a voice actor and I love to read. I have three dogs that I love to play with. I play Overwatch a lot, I play Mercy, and my favorite food is pasta. And I hope you enjoy listening to Starblood. Hello, my name is Lex and I voice Cleo Brumby Hazel. A fun fact about me is that I love the ocean and everything in it. I also love singing, writing, and voice acting, and collaborating and talking with people. So if you want to contact me with a business inquiry, you can do so at my YouTube, Lex C, or my casting call of the same name. I hope you have fun listening to Starblood. Hey, my name is Josh. I voice Commander Joe Hall Nixon. And that's not my real voice. I've been pulling a falsehood over all of you. Um, I've been acting since 2013 in plays and musicals, but I've stopped doing that. I started voice acting in around July of 2017. Um, I have fun with it, it's pretty nice, but voice acting isn't what I plan on doing forever. I plan on shooting and editing my own films, like, you know, on the big screen. I feel like that'd be really cool. Anyway, uh, I'm not very interesting, so I guess next character.